fever pitch scenes here at the Cattery. I'm here with Benny Pole. Benny, how are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Jeez. He's a Bulldogs man, converted him to the D's today. I went Bulldogs Ooh. mode when we went up to Ballarat, so yeah, that, a bit of a chop here. That didn't end well though, so yeah. let's hope it ends a little bit nicer today. Uh, frosty conditions here at the Cattery. It is fever pitch scenes for... Oh, come on mate, give me a shot. <laughs> come on bro. This will be one of the more famous victories if we can get up. Coming down to the Cattery is no easy feat, so to get the chocolates here would be massive. We're about to roll in. I think we're near the cats. Cheers, squad, and let's get into it. Come on, boy. Traded the Geelong cheer squad, Benny. We're violently outnumbered. Finally. <laughs> we've actually got some, um, we've some great supporters around us, though, just quietly. Yeah, we have. There's, nice some, there's some really class Geelong fans here, which is good. It should be a good game either way. I am going to tip the D's by 27 points. What is your tip? That's massive. I am. I, like the, I, I think the D, just so. I think it'll be about eight points. Um, eight points. With a bit of, yeah, I've said it before, Alex Neil Bullen. Your man tonight. Alex Neil Bullen, he's gonna, he's gonna do all the scrappy work and I reckon he's gonna kick one and have, you know, 16 odd, couple of tackles. He's just gonna do the right thing. Fritch lining up for the first snag of the game. Put it through. Come on, Frida. Look at that. Oh, yes! Go, Dees! Okay, kicks one from 50. That's the first two on the board for the Dees. And we got a little cheapy free here. So this is the start we're after. Come Richie on, Dees. Duncan lining up for the Cats second and for the lead. Yeah! Ben Brown does the crummy and kicks a low sort of yes. flat punt. How far was that? Low flat punt, it's gone through. Uh, the D's have got the lead back. Sam Guthrie from the construction side, if you don't mind, he's kicked an absolute screamer of a snag and the Cats have a one point lead. The time here at GMHBA Stadium and the Cats lead by two points. They've got a couple of late snags to get the lead, but I was pretty pleased with the term overall, besides a handful of mistakes. There's times we were out, we probably should have kicked long and Probably overused the handball a little bit. And there was multiple times where they were slipping over as well. So a little bit frustrating in that middle patch towards the end of that term, but the start was there. So if we can put that pressure on to start this second term, hopefully we can skip out to a bit of a lead. Um, but apart from that, pretty content with how the boys are traveling. Tom Atkins for three in a row for the Cats. It's a good shoot. Yeah. In the last three, we're getting out coached a little bit in this game. They're, they know this ground like the back of their own hand, so fair play to them. They're sort of outclassing us at the minute. Benny, what do we do? We've had the opportunities, really. Um, we're just getting really, like, I know this is going to sound a bit dicky, but you know, after them, they kick a goal. That little video that's coming is really rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, next one to the D's. We'll have to kick this one. Need. To answer back now, the Cats have kicked the last three. Come on, Dees. The Dees! The Dees are getting the rub of the green. For the first time ever here at GMHBA, and the Cats fans are going bananas. Link up by the Cats end to end. We've had some chances to put a bit of a score on the board here in this second term. Nothing, nothing incredible, but um, geez, disappointing to concede that one. The Cats. Have answered Petrarca, back. and the D's get the clearance. Petrarca slots it from 50 like he did in the first term, and automatically the D's reply, this is a bit of a ball burster. Let's fly now. Let's fly. Please don't. Surely not. <laughs> Half time here at GMHBA. We're here with Nooney. Nooney! Who's usually whipping the D's home for us, but it's uh, against Geelong, so he's not sticking today. with his boys. How are they travelling? We're going good. I want the whistle put away a little bit more. I want the hard nuts in there. I want the salads. I want the bonnies. I want a good contest. All right. Other than that, it's going to be a good game so far. You're almost one or two goals away in that term from just putting on a nice little gap. Yeah, we didn't put it through the big sticks. Yeah, it could hurt us. Could come back to bite us, but uh, I guess we'll know in 60 minutes. What are your thoughts on Petrarca? Snags through the middle. He's a stud. He's a stud. But it, look, 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 look at his surrounding lifestyle that brings him into the game. <laughs> Probably misses. His, <laughs> his nonna still cooked for him. All right. All that contributes to him being a great player. 
He is in great form. The D's are still in it. I haven't said that often here at Team HBA watching this team, so I'm happy with how the game's going. Hopefully, there's, we can finish it off strong. There's got to be fire burning in the uh, in the tank from last year, getting done the by well, what, 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 45, I reckon, last time? Maybe nearly 40. Yeah, we'll up by about 40 points oh, here last yeah, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chase it down. Yeah, well, there's, it seems like there's a bit of tension, so it'll be a good end to this game. And uh, come on, Dees. No cats. Tommy at half time. Tommy, how are the cats tracking? The cats are doing okay, but I think I think Melbourne are going to win. You're I tipping think, the D's from here. I think Melbourne are going to win, okay? Jeez. No. If Tommy wasn't my favourite before, he's my favourite now. <laughs> um, who's going to step up for the cats in the second half? I reckon I reckon Danger's been, been down, so he might have to redeem himself. If Danger gets up, we he's could be in strife. Thanks for the support, Tommy. Play by the D's. We have the 50 completely free. And Petrarca's butchered the footy going inside. It's frustrating. If you kick long to grass, it's a one-on-one -on -one foot race to goal. So, ah, few mistakes and it's been happening all game. Got to tidy that sort of stuff up in the second half. Mitch Duncan lining up to put a real gap for the first time in this game. He's missed it. The D's have been let off a bit here. Cats have been on top in the last quarter and a half. The D's have just made so many errors going forward. It's a little bit frustrating, but we're still in it and we've got to, we've got to respond now. We need to kick the next. Cats kick another and they have a 16 point lead. I reckon they've kicked four of the last five at least. And they're on top here in the third quarter. Fortunate snag, that's two in a row to the D's. We reduced the margin to 11 points. Toby Bedford was chipping it over the top to Bailey Fridge, but in the greasing conditions, it's just dribbled through. So two in a row, it's the first time we've got consecutive snags in, since the first quarter. Quarter time here at GMHBA Stadium. <laughs> just nervous scenes. We've kicked the last two. We're within two goals. So it was a bit of a rubbish sort of quarter and a half there. It lived in the Geelong forward line, but we're starting to get some chances now as the game opens up. Hopefully we can somehow close it out, but it feels like the Cats are keeping us at arm's length. Big last term coming up. Come on, Dees. been too hard to come by and I don't see us getting three or four to get us back in the game they've just been too hard this ground is an absolute nightmare to play on no, the, the multi's home which is handy but um, it's early talk <laughs> but Cozzy Cozzy with the opportunistic stag it's is that only 13 points I can't I can't believe it's Geelong's left the door wide open and hit right. Well, they've missed some chances. It, it should be game over by now. It just comes down to this midfield battle that we've been smashed in all day. So the D's have to lift in the middle if they're a chance to get home. But that was a quality finish by Cosy Pickett. The truck are lining up to reduce it to a kick and a point. <sighs> Come on, track. Come on, track. We're having some chances late here. Come on, track. Snuck it in. Yes! Go yes! <laughs> team! That's three for the great man. We need to get this clearance. We've been absolutely manhandled in the middle and it's been frustrating. We need to get this clearance and get it in deep, lock it in and make a game of it. We're down by seven points. The D's are coming on. Huge strong. clearance here at GMHBA. The D's are pressing hard. Come on, D's! Your man how harms. Your man harms. Your man harms. It's Viney. Come on. Cozzy Pickett going the snap from the boundary to make it all even. Comes around. He's hit the post. The D's are coming home strong. Got three slots one. They get one against the Tide, the Cutters, and they get it out to a two-goal lead. 
Miss Skunk gets kicked the sealer. The Cats are home. Cats get the chocolates at Team HBA. And we are out of here. Another game, Dave Log. Dud and dusted. I am filthy. I am fuming. Um, I felt like, to be honest, we just got outcoached and outclassed by the Cats for majority of the day. The margin probably could have got a little bigger if they kicked more accurately, but that was one of the most fumbliest, scrappiest games of football I've ever seen. The Cats' end-to-end -end game plan is a little bit hit and miss. They did it against the Tigers where, like, their link-up isn't, I don't know, it's sort of... It's not chaos footy, but it's sort of, I don't know. They, they miss a lot of kicks and they let you in the contest, but it's just frustrating that we couldn't ca capitalise on the other end. We, we couldn't move the ball at all on that absolute jigsaw puzzle of a ground. <laughs> that is GMHBA, one of the great grounds. Should never host a final. <laughs> never, ever. Um, outgunned, outdone, but you feel like it's not the last time these two teams play each other. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks to watch the Ds. And, uh, yeah, I am signing off now because I am fuming. I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you very soon. Cheers.